Hey guys, welcome to class today. Today we're going to do an awesome warm up, then we're going to move into a training kata. We're going to learn training kata one and actually understand what a bow kata looks like and work on it all the way through from start to finish, get a lot of reps in and have a good time today. So I want you guys to give it 100% in class. To start out with our warm up, we're going to do what I call flowing bow swings. Um, really the idea is we're just practicing some uh, bow strikes, but rather than doing a strike that's very rigid, we're swinging our body through. So just get your, ha your hands in a normal hold in the center of the bow. Right hand up, left hand down is fine. Start at the high level, my legs are apart, fairly wide. Swing across, turn your arm over, and do like a back swing across. Just stay with me. So we're just doing flowing swings. We're basically going to the angle one and angle two, if you've learned that already, which our striking zones. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. You're just going diagonally, drawing an X in the air. We're really moving a lot of the most important body parts that we're going to use in our bow class today. <clears throat> this is a nice, easy way to get warmed up. Okay, now we're switching to the mid-level horizontal, about rib level. You swing, and then you turn your hand over and do a back swing. Okay, last one is at the low level, we're doing ascending swings. We're swinging upward, crossing, and we're basically making an X again, but going from down to up. Nothing too difficult. Taking it slow and easy at the beginning of this warm up here. We'll get plenty of work in later during the training kata. Okay, go ahead and switch hands so that my left palm is up, right palm is down. Start with that descending, making the X high to low. Notice that I am turning on the balls of my feet some and pivoting. This allows me to practice and actually bend my knees and stretch out my hips, hip flexor, thighs some, and the knee joints. Good, going to the mid-level, which is basically, this would be angle four angle four, and then angle three. They're just swings, they're not strikes. Strike would be more like that. Swinging is just fluid. Letting your body weight's momentum take you back and forth some. Okay, and then final one here, we're doing that ascending from low to high, making an X. Sort of like an uppercut, and then a backward uppercut there. A couple more. All right, great job. Now we're gonna do knee in and outs. Work out our legs a little bit, get that warmed up. Just put your staff in front of you. Bring your knee up, tap the staff, and then take your knee out to the outside. So it's in, out, in, out. Switching from left leg to right leg. I'm bringing my knee up, then really turning my hip sideways, bring my knee to the side to work and stretch out my hip flexor. Okay, I'm just gonna turn, face the front for you. And out. Okay, pick up the pace a little bit. going. All right. Next one is leg switches. You're literally just switching your legs back and forth. Now to add something to it, we're going to practice hand, switching hands, also known as a changeover, where you replace the hand and go back, just like we learned in the last class. Replace the hand and switch it to the other hip. 
as we're still switching our legs. Switching our legs is the calisthenic, we're getting our body more warmed up, raising our heart rate. Why not practice our coordination a little bit and work on these hand switches? You don't have to time them with the cadence of your legs. Just do them at whatever speed you want. Maybe kind of hard coordination wise, that's fine though, that's good. We're actually going to be doing quite a few hand switches in the training kata. So we want to get really smooth, comfortable with this. A couple more seconds. And time. All right, there you go guys, we're warmed up, ready for class. All right guys, in today's class, we're going to learn training kata one. This is a training kata, which means it's not in our core curriculum or testing requirements, although it could be at some point in time. But the idea of a training kata is just to practice the techniques in this chevron level in a prearranged fight sequence. If you don't know what a kata is, it is like a prearranged pattern or a fight where we already have our stances, our strikes, our blocks laid out for us in a very fluid way. Training kata one actually starts out and has a very basic pattern. So we go to our left, then we go to our right, and then we go down the center. And then we turn back to the center at the end as well. Uh, so very simple, makes uh, somewhat of a T pattern actually, or an upside down T depending on which way you're looking at it. But the training kata itself, remember it's a predetermined or realistic fight. So whenever we practice our techniques in a kata, we're not just sort of going like this, and just going through our motions. Go through the motions slowly when you're learning the kata. Make sure you understand the pattern first, of course, but then you need to take it to that next level and remember that to, you are giving it 100%. You're at, when you do that block, you're trying to block a strike and save your life. You're trying to throw out the most powerful overhead front strike possible, the most powerful lunging front thrust possible, and those sort of things. So keep that in mind. What's unique about training kata one, we're actually balanced and we're doing left hand dominant and then we're doing right hand dominant and we're switching hands. You'll notice in Bokata one, which is in the yellow chevron level, um, it is a right hand dominant started and finished kata. Clearly you do a lot of strikes and blocks that involve the left side, but you don't do a hand switch in the kata like we do in this training kata. That's okay. Point is, we want to get ba even more balanced, so that's why it's good, a good idea to do these training kata. It's a good idea to practice all of your techniques on both sides, though. Okay, so I'm going to show you training kata one all the way through, so you can take a look at it. It's not that long, not that hard to learn. We're going to learn it today, practice it, train on it a lot. Quick note, if you're in a small space, do your very best to follow along with me, even if you can't do the whole stances or the whole extended strikes. And then when you get a moment, if you could go outside or have a bigger space to practice at full speed, that's awesome. Do what you can with the space and the, you know, the tools you have. So let me show you training kata one, and then we'll go over it, okay? Training kata one. All right, I was training kata one. A um, couple of things you notice added a key at the very end, that's our spirit shout. That's a more intense, powerful finishing strike. I did a couple of things like a focus and recharge breathing out. We'll talk about those other things too. But to get started, we're going to do the very beginning. And I'm going to turn around and make this really easy so you can follow along with me. Now, you want to start with the staff in your left hand. Grab it, yeah, about uh, the end of quarter two. Hold the staff next to your side in a attention stance. We're here, our feet are together, back is straight, we do a bow. We actually bring the staff out in front of us, step out our left leg into a horse stance, and push the staff in front of us. So if you want to see what that looks like here, it's called the ready position. That's a powerful ready stance that we get into before we uh, basically explode into the rest of the kata. Courtesy bow, ready position. Now, from our ready position, our left palm is facing up, right palm is facing down. That makes it left hand dominant. We're going to turn to our left into a back stance. A back stance is just the idea of our, our, 
Our back leg is our right leg in this situation. Our left leg is facing the target. We bend our knees. More of our weight's on our backside, maybe 60%, 40% on the front leg. Uh, some instructors may say 70, 30, it varies. From here, though, I turn and I do an angle block. I'm blocking a strike coming towards me, an overhead angle strike, and I'm blocking at this angle. Next, we slide our leg in some, like the preparation before you do an overhead front strike, remember? Because we're about to do an overhead front strike. We circle the staff around, overhead front strike. Notice it feels very clean, very fluid, because it's very nice circular movement from the angle block. So it's angle block, overhead front strike. Four point, up, down, side to side. Front thrust, small preparation. Thrusting out into our long front stance. Our back is straight, our head is up, our front knee is bent. We definitely have more momentum on the front side of our body, but my, I'm not bent over though. And stop. Okay, let's do that again. Follow along with me. You guys are doing a great job. So, we start with the staff in our left hand. Palm is out, or really palm is facing behind us. Here, excuse me. We're here, attention stance, bow. Step out, ready position. Throw, thrust the staff out in front of you, and then once you're ready, you look to your left, angle block. We're in a back stance, slide the leg in, point the staff. Again, it's a circular motion, but if you need to go slow, point. Step back out into your left front stance. Overhead front strike. Turning the hand, ringing it over, protruding the left side of your body out forward. Striking up, chin strike, down to the top of the head. Neck, neck. Prep, front thrust. Nice. From here, we just step back to that ready position that you were in when we started, and we do a switch. We do a horse stance switch, just like that. I'll show you from this side to make it very easy for you to see, okay? Follow along with me, though. Again, this is a class, and this is a training kata, so do every single step with me. Even if you already know that part of the section, move on. Do it with me. The point is to get repetitions in, not purely just to learn the kata, memorize it, like, oh, yeah, I already know it. I can move on to the next kata. That's not the purpose of a kata. Bow. Shot ready. Angle block. Over at front strike. Up, down, side to side, front thrust. Come back to the center. Notice I really just slightly pull my leg back to the horse stance. I'm here. I do a horse stance hand change, which is just I push up with this hand and slide my right arm across as I toss, it, don't not toss the bow, but as I push the bow up and then replace. This is just how you, re, you do a hand change in a horse stance. Slide over, push, slide over, push, slide over, push. So I was left hand dominant, now I switch to right hand dominant. We're going to mimic the same thing to the other side. Look to the right, angle block in a back stance. Slight preparation stance, circle around, overhead front strike, up, down, side, to side, front thrust, up, and stop. Okay, we'll go up to that point. I'm going to turn around, follow along with me, as you should be following along everything. Sorry to hammer that in so much, but it's super important. Ready? Begin. Bow. Ready position. Left back stance, angle block. Overhead front strike. Up, down, side to side. Front thrust. Come back to our ready position, change over. Look right, angle block. Overhead front strike. Up, down, side to side. Front thrust. And back. Okay, great job. Very important to be aware of your stances as you're practicing, okay guys? Not just your upper body. So this time, really watch your stances. Let's do it again, and then we'll add on something else. Bow. Ready position, look left, angle block. Overhead front strike, up, 
down, side to side, front thrust. Come back, ready position, change over, look right, angle block, overhead front strike, up, down, side to side, front thrust. Now from here, of course, we're in our right, long front stance, front thrust. We're gonna take our right leg and step up into a back stance like we've just been doing already, where our back leg is facing out to a left 90, front leg is facing towards the opponent. As we do that, we're gonna do an uppercut. Swinging the arm down, uppercut. Okay, just repositioning myself, make it a little bit easier for you to see. So again, we were here, uppercut. Now, we switch hands by doing a normal hand changeover. But when we finish, we keep it like this, angle this direction because we're gonna be going into a left uppercut. All right, so I did an uppercut, changeover, left back stance, uppercut. Make sense? Good. Let's go up to that point. So we mirror the left, we mirror the right, then we go down, uppercut, changeover, left uppercut. Training cut the one. Bow, ready position. Look left, angle block. Overhead front strike. One, two, three, four. Front thrust. Come back to the ready position. Hand change over. Right side, angle block. Overhead front strike. One, two, three, four. Front thrust. Get ready, step up to a right back stance. Uppercut. Hand change over. Uppercut. And time. All right, guys. Good job. Keep it up. We only have a couple more moves, actually, and that ends the training kata. Follow along with me. I'm going to face the front again just to give you another look. Keep doing it, though, of course, in your normal angle. Ready. Training kata one. Bow. Ready position. Angle block. Overhead front strike. One, two, three, four. Okay, come back. Ready position. Change over. Angle block. Overhead front strike. One, two, three, four. Step up. Uppercut. Change over. Step up. Uppercut. Great job, guys. So. We're going to do that again. I'm going to add on the last three moves, finish up the train kata, then we'll do it 40 times. Okay, maybe not 40 times. We'll do as many as we need to though to get some good reps in in today's class. Stay with me. Start in a tension stance, bow. Ready position, look left, angle block, overhead front strike. One, two, three, four. Front thrust, come back, ready position, switch, angle block, overhead front strike, one, three, four, step up, uppercut, change over, uppercut. Now from this, left back stance uppercut, what we're going to do is change over, so I switch hands to our right dominant, turn 180 degrees to our back stance face in this direction now. Angle block. Ready for the front thrust. Front thrust long. Front stance, 180 degree turn, reverse thrust. Whoop! And back, and we're done. So you end up finishing the form facing the same way you started. Follow along with me. I think this is the easiest way for you guys to follow. Okay, ready. We'll cut, uh, training cut the one. Bow. Ready position. Left angle block. Ush, 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 ush. Ready position. Change over. Ush, 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 ush. Right back stance. Uppercut. Change over. Uppercut. Change over. Angle block. Front thrust. Reverse thrust, adding a yell. The reverse thrust, if you haven't learned it yet, 
you can take a look at the lesson, but we're taking a 180 degree rotation and thrusting our body around as we switch our feet. Thrusting to where, what I'm doing is neck level. And then we step back and then we're going to finish the kata. So it's here. You put your hands out in front of you, bring the staff over and down as you breathe out. And I can show you guys that in a second from the front angle, okay? Let's do the whole kata all the way through, guys. Ready? So, give you a second to catch your breath. If you're not tired, it's either because you're not trying hard enough, or maybe you don't have enough space. You're not able to put in enough exertion. But either way, do what you can to get a good workout in today. Begin. Bow. Step out the left leg. Ready, stance. Look left. Angle block. Overhead front strike. One, two, three, four. Front thrust. Ready, position. Hand change over. Angle block. Overhead front strike. One, two, three, four. Front thrust. Coming down the center. Uppercut. Change over. Uppercut. Change over. Angle block. Front thrust. Reverse this. Ah! Come back, slide the leg back, step out to the left, push the arms down. Slide the left leg into the right, lay the um, staff on the inside of the forearm, left arms out and up. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out, final bow. And relax position. So the reason why we finish like that, to give you a couple of uh, pointers on this, we finish here. We step back because we're still finishing in a powerful, you know, horse stance, ready stance. We come in. This is like a focus and recharge breath. We take a deep breath. Come back out. When you do that deep breath in, focus on your abdominals, your core. Squeeze them some. That's going to force you to bring that, that breath, that oxygen, that energy to your core. Restabilize you and actually allow you to have more endurance and stamina uh, by doing a breath like that after you do a, a physical exertion like a kata. Go back and we do a courtesy bow and then just a small step out to a relaxed ready stance to finish it. Okay, so that's the kata all the way through. We're going to do it one last time today. Um, actually, two, two more times. Sorry to let you guys off the hook there. We're going to do one slower and then one a little bit faster. I'm not going to call it full speed. I'm just going to call it around normal speed or um, you know, about the fastest you can do with the most power you can do and your situation and everything like that. Let's go through it slowly, though. We're going to do these as follow-alongs. I'm going to have my back to you to make it easy. So we're going to do this one, and then we'll do it one more time. Let's, let's give it 100%, guys. Going slow with good technique, training cut the one. Bow. Ready position. Follow along. guys great job on that so one more time a little bit faster don't give up on me this is the last one here begin Hi guys, hope you got something out of that. Keep practicing that, you know? 
It's not just a training kata for today's class only. That's a kata you can keep doing during this whole chevron level and really all of your bow training as a way to get balanced practice with your stances, with your kata, with combinations, you know, switching hands both sides and keep working on that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, we're gonna finish a class out with a cool down. Slow it down a little bit. Make sure we're not too sore and increase our flexibility, okay? First thing I want you to do is hold your staff, overhand grip in the center. We're gonna do some deep breathing. I want you to sort of row um, the staff here as if you're going over an imaginary ball. Take a deep breath in. And when you push out, uh, you know, push it out at a down angle here. Right, guys good job on that next thing we're going to do some leg swings stretch our legs out a little bit if you'd like to put your staff out just as a target height to get to using your left leg first go keeping the legs straight swinging it up and down switch legs Awesome. Okay, put the staff behind your neck, extend your arms out, and actually bend into your left lunge. It's like a warrior pose from yoga. Stretching out your back leg, and also your upper body by keeping your arms extended and your chest out. Switch. Okay. The staff waist level behind your lower back. Just doing slow torso twists with breathing. Okay, now this one, our palms are facing up in the center of the bow. Only to push the step and turn your arms as far out as you can. If you can even continue to push it, push back into your hip flexors with the middle of the staff. Take a deep breath in. Behind the head. And down. All right, shoulder rolls forward and back. Look to your left, look to your right, look up, look down. All right, there we go, guys. Great class today. Hope you enjoyed it, you pushed yourself, you got something out of it, you learned a lot. Keep working hard, guys, and I'll see you next time.